What is going on guys? Wanted to make a quick video for you today just to show you about a quick tool that I built uh, to help me resize my images for YouTube to convert them into the resolution for Instagram. And the reason this is useful is because if you try to take this image, which is a thumbnail for YouTube, which is 1280 by 720, and just upload that to Instagram, it gets all stretched and looks really ugly. Um, you can do this manually and resize it manually, but it just takes a little bit of time. And being a lazy programmer that I am, uh, I figured this is a perfect opportunity to just write a quick script to do this automatically for me. Um, so that's exactly what I did. And let me just walk you through what I used to do before, um, just to show you kind of how painful this was. Well, it's not that bad, but uh, for me, it was painful. So I used to, to set my thumbnail up here in Photoshop, and then I would literally like copy the thing, uh, control C it to my clipboard, go to file, new, and create a new one that was 1080 by 1080. Then I would paste it in here and do my best to resize it and try to center it, there we go. And then I would take my background image and just fill that with black and then I would save and export. So as you can see, this didn't take very long. It took less than like a minute, so it wasn't that painful. But um, like I said, I'm lazy. I like to think all programmers are lazy and um, you know, I wanted to, to optimize this a little bit and just automate it, especially since I have a whole lot of videos and doing this for every single one kind of gets pretty tedious. Uh, so that's exactly what I did. And let me just show you the script. Actually, let me show you kind of what the output is. So um, here is my like kind of project folder. So I have my thumbnail PNG, which is this file here, which is in the 1280 by 720 format. And then I have this, um, this script here that I wrote called Resizer. If I just double click on this guy now, it generates a new image like you can see here. And it centers the image while well, it, it reduces the size and then centers the image according to the new resolution. Uh, so that's what this script does. So let me just uh, pull it up here and show you uh, the code for it. Now, by the way, this is all gonna be available on GitHub if you want to try it out for yourself or you wanna modify this thing a little bit. Um, so feel free to check out the description section for that. So uh, let me walk you through, there's a ton of comments in here, but let me just kind of walk you through really quick. So uh, our source image is 1280 by 720. We are just storing two variables for that. We want to convert it to a new image that is 1080 by 1080. So storing two variables for that. And the way that we want to do that or the strategy that we're going to use is um, for the case where our source image is higher or larger than either the width or the height, we need to reduce it. So we need to reduce this from 1280 to 1080. So that's a reduction of 200 pixels. Now we need to calculate that reduction as a percentage and then also reduce 720 by the same percentage. That's gonna be the new size of our image on our 1080 by 1080 canvas. And then from there, we need to center that image so that it's sitting in the middle as opposed to at the top and half the image is black. Uh, so that's kind of the general strategy of this. So let me kind of just show you exactly what I did. So in this section, we're just determining the drop percentage and it's just a very basic formula that you can read over here. And then uh, we're reducing the height by the same percentage that the width dropped. The width was like you saw uh, above 1080. So that was our value that needs to be reduced to 1080 and our value here needs to be reduced by the same percentage. Then I am just printing it out for you to see. Now here I'm creating a temporary black image, which is gonna be our background black canvas. And that's gonna be uh, 1080 by 1080 in black, which is 000 in RGB. And then I am opening our source image, which is just thumbnail.png. I name it the same every time or else like, you know, you can add some input here to say in, input your uh, image name or whatever you want. But since I always name it the same thing, I just hard coded it here. And then we are resizing our thumbnail image to the correct size um, based on these two variables. And in this section here, um, we are figuring out where the starting point is. So if I go back to our image here, um, our starting point is this point here. So if we think about like how far down the page is this, so it's 1080 minus the height of this image divided by two. That's kind of where our, our starting point is. And if we, um, we look at our formula here, that's exactly what I did. And then um, I'm basically just pasting um, on top of our black image, our new image, and it is at starting point height zero, or sorry, starting point width zero, and height, um, it's being shifted down by that offset. 
So that's exactly what we are doing here. We're pasting that on top. And then we are just saving the image to thumbnail resize or thumbnail IG resize.png. And then from there, you just upload it to Instagram. So uh, I've been thinking about how to improve this a little bit more. I'll probably like integrate with the Instagram and Twitter SDK so that I can upload, like add my, my um, message here so that I can just write it in code and then upload it. Uh, and it'll upload to Instagram and Twitter at the same time and post all my comments and everything. But uh, if you like this video, let me know. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.